Hi, this is Penelope Weinberger. I'm the Census Transportation Planning Products Program Manager at AASHTO. We're recording some brief tutorials on the CTPP data access software. The tutorial you're about to watch is on selecting geography. There are two parts to the CTPP, residence and workplace. And there are two ways to select geography, by list and by map. We're going to look at both of those. The CTPP data access software is a powerful tool to access the nearly 350 gigs of data provided by the Census Bureau. The data set consists of 200 residence-based tables, 115 workplace-based tables, and 39 flow tables from home. 325,000 geographies. The data is derived from the American Community Survey microdata record based on the 2006 to 2010 ACS. What you're looking at here is the home screen for the CTPP data access software. I'm not going to select a table. I'm going to go straight to selecting geography. As you can see, I have residence geography by the red box and workplace geography by the blue box. The default geography for all CTPP tables is all states. We're going to change that right now. I'm going to click on residence. And the software is going to open up and show me. On the left-hand side of the screen, I'm looking at my select level. State is what's highlighted, and states are what are selected. I have 52 states selected. That includes DC and Puerto Rico. Like all good GISs, I'm going to have to clear my selection if I don't want it in the table. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Clear Full Selection. Then I have to decide what level of geography I'm interested in. I'm interested in counties. There are 3,221 counties in the US, and I have none of them selected. So first I pick my level. And then it's going to give me a list starting in Alabama. Well, I don't want to scroll all the way down from Alabama to Maryland, so I'm going to search for Maryland instead. I put my cursor in the search box, and I type Maryland. And then click on the search tool. You can also hit Enter. In the CTPP, you can have mixed levels of geography. In this tutorial, we're just going to look at counties. And now I have my 24 counties in Maryland. I'm going to choose to select all of them. And I click the Select All button on the right-hand side, and the check mark appears by each one. Pretty nifty. Now I want to pick my workplace geography. I'm actually going to pick the same geography. I do want you to take note that where it said All States before, now it says New Set. If I want to save this set of just Maryland counties or any geography I create, I will have to sign in. But I'm not going to do that today. Now I'm just going to click on Workplace. Instead of picking by list, I'm going to pick by map. So instead of using the Selection List tab, I'm going to use the Selection Map tab. I click on that, and it shows me a cool map of the United States. Of course, I have all my states selected, since that's my default job. So I'm going to clear selection. On the map, you do that over on the right-hand side here, a little garbage can. Off they go. Now I pick my level. I want counties again. I want place of work counties. Now I could do this a number of ways. I could zoom in with the tool just to where I happen to know Maryland is. And I could pick the counties one by one. That could be a little bit tedious. So instead, I'm going to use this cool zoom to and select tool. Open zoom to. Place of work state is what I want, because that's the parent. And down here, it says automatically highlight any place of work county. I click that on. I type in Maryland. And I just hit Enter. And it's loading up my Maryland counties. Now look, 24 place of work counties. It's good those two numbers match. Do I want to add all highlighted counties to my selection? I do. So I click that. And there they all are. Now let's see if I can look at a table with my county residences and my county workplaces. I'll go to show CTP tables. And of course, I want a flow table since I've got two geographies selected. I open them up. My workers. Let's just look at total workers. Now one thing that's a little odd about this table is that the residents and the workplace are both on the so I'm going to want to move one of those so that I have a matrix. I like my data as a matrix. I'm going to grab my residence by the textured box to the left of the word. I'm going to 
drag it up till it's over output with that up pointing arrow. And I'm going to drop it. Now my output is going to nest under my residences. Here's a great looking matrix. I have 25,000 workers that live in Allegheny and work in Allegheny County. 153,000 live in Anne Arundel and work in Anne Arundel. It should go right down that way. The biggest numbers down the matrix. It sure looks like it does.